Hello students, my name is Alok Semwal. Today's lecture is about factors affecting fluorescence intensity. There are several factors which affect fluorescence intensity. These factors include nature of molecules, molecular weight of compounds, nature of functional groups, structure of compounds, effect of concentration, intensity of radiation, pH of solution, effect of oxygen, temperature and viscosity, presence of impurities and last one chemical quenching effect. First factor is nature of molecules. For any compound to have fluorescence should have the tendency to absorb electromagnetic radiation. Now, saturated molecules with sigma bonds do not exhibit fluorescence. For example, aliphatic and saturated cyclic organic compounds. Unsaturated molecules with pi bonds and good resonance stability can exhibit fluorescence. Examples include alkenes with conjugated double bonds. In general, the greater the absorbance of a molecule, the more intense its luminescence. Luminescence is the emission of light by a substance that has not been heated as in fluorescence and phosphorescence. Second factor is high molecular weight of compounds. In this case, if an electron of an atom with high molecular weight is excited, it exhibits decreased fluorescence. It means the fluorescence value decreases with the increase in molecular weight. Third factor is effect of functional groups. Now functional groups exhibit marked effect on fluorescence often. For example, electron donating groups improve fluorescence. These include amine, hydroxy and methoxy groups. Electron accepting groups deteriorate or completely destroy fluorescence. Examples include carboxylic, nitro, azo groups and halides. Effect of structure of the compounds. Structure of compounds also have a very important role in fluorescence. Aromatic compounds exhibit fluorescence. For example, fluorescein and eosin are having aromatic structures. Compounds with more than two cyclic structures exhibit fluorescence. Examples include vitamin K, nucleosides and purines. Resid molecules like metal complexes have enhanced fluorescence as they inhibit the liberation of excitation energy. The position of functional group which is responsible for absorption affects fluorescence. As we all know, chromophore is responsible for absorption of electromagnetic radiation in ultraviolet or visible region. Not only its presence but its position also affects fluorescence. Next is effect of concentration. There exists a linear relationship between the concentration of sample and fluorescence. This linear relationship is up to an absorbance value of 0 0.02. The linearity holds good to about 5% of cases with absorbance up to 0 0.05. In dilute solution, the radiation distributes uniformly and high intense fluorescence results. In highly concentrated solutions, upper layers of the solution absorb more radiation and less amount of radiations are transferred to lower layers. Thus, there is no uniform radiation absorption which results in decreased fluorescence. In highly concentrated solution, intramolecular collisions cause loss of vibrational energy and certain amount of fluorescence. Fluorescence is emitted and reabsorbed resulting in decrease in intensity of fluorescence. This is called as concentration quenching effect. Quenching refers to any factor which results in decrease in fluorescence intensity. So by these points it is evident that if the sample is having dilute solution the fluorescence will be intense. 
but as the concentration increases the fluorescence value will decrease next is effect of intensity of radiation radiation of adequate intensity must be used to induce fluorescence high intensity radiation causes decrease in fluorescence due to photochemical changes while the light of single wavelength like monochromatic light should be used as energy of radiation varies with wavelength next is ph of solution ph of solution also affects the fluorescence intensity as we all know that ph decides whether a substance will be in ionized form or unionized form next is effect of oxygen there is decrease in fluorescence in the presence of oxygen due to following factors direct conversion of fluorescent material into non fluorescent material and indirectly due to quenching these points suggest that oxygen decreases the fluorescence intensity directly or indirectly next is effect of temperature and viscosity alteration in temperature may affect the concentration and viscosity of the sample now increase in temperature may result in increase in concentration and decrease in viscosity resulting in intermolecular collisions and deactivation of excited molecule destroying fluorescence some substances may exhibit fluorescence at temperature lower than room temperature or in viscous solvent or glassy matrix next one is effect of impurities substances other than the solute molecules are impurities and that's why they exhibit fluorescence quenching for example iodide ion is extremely effective quencher so if iodide ion will present in any of the sample it will decrease in intensity of fluorescence as a result of decrease in sensitivity of constituents last factor is chemical quenching chemical quenching can occur in two ways the excited molecule transfer its fluorescent intensity to surrounding molecules ions or impurities by intercollisions thereby destroying fluorescence the unexcited molecule may form a stable complex with quencher molecule inhibiting excitation and fluorescence thank you